What's up, three pound fishing nation? We are back with another great episode. We're going to talk about the settings on Live Scope. That's all this episode is going to be about. I actually published one about a month ago, a month and a half ago, and I said, man, I missed a lot of stuff on that episode, so I'm going to redo it. And this is that redo. So we're going to be talking about settings on Live Scope. This is a I mean, this is an episode that if you just got live scope, this would be your episode because that's all we're talking about is setting. I'm gonna show you some images on my 8612, go through my whole setup, and uh, yeah, that's it. We're just talking about live scope, folks. So let's get into it. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. So probably the number one thing I want to start off with is just monitor. I know that this is about settings, but let's talk about monitors first because that's important. I've had them all. I've talked about having them all. Um, this is the 8612. It's a touch screen. It's pretty much the top of the line. But my favorite screen, folks, is the 126 SV. That is, without a doubt, my favorite screen. And um, although this is fantastic, I think that the additional dollars for the 8612 is just a little bit uh, extreme and you can get the same quality picture in my opinion on the 126 SV. I believe at the end of the day buy the biggest screen you can afford. Let's put that out there because I think it's important. Um, if you can afford a 12 inch, great, get it. 10 inch, great. Everything, it, it, it is relative in terms of size, in terms of uh, live scope. I think it's just a better experience for you. So. Let's go through my settings right off the bat. Let's just get there. Let's just go straight there. So we're gonna go into home. You're gonna pick your live scope to get to the screen. My gain is set at 69%. I don't mess with gain whatsoever. A lot of people, number one question people are gonna ask always is, do you change your gain? No, I don't, I don't change it at all. I mean, like it have to be extreme differences. Like me going to Grenada where it's like chocolate milk, like coffee, yeah, I might tweak it a little bit. But on a day-to-day -day basis, me going from lake to lake, even in Southern Illinois, nah, I don't, I don't mess with it. I, I, I mean, I just rarely mess with it. 69 is what I've got it set to. I um, am a big believer in the depth range staying consistent. So no matter what depth of water I'm fishing, unless I'm fishing like eight foot, something extremely shallow, I'm usually pretty consistent with my 30 foot. And the reason why is that keeps the fish consistent in terms of size. I'm used to knowing what a fish looks like at that particular depth. And so it's kind of funny, I used to preach about how you want to maximize your screen, but right now we're in 13 foot of water basically. And again, I will always have it at 30 foot. So I'm only utilizing this small piece up here, which is kind of funny, but that's just what I've, what I've kind of getting, gotten used to. So let's see here, forward range. Again, everything should be in manual. That was one of the things I talked, I forgot to talk about that. So. You know, you have the option here on your depth to put it into auto and see how it just did that. It maximized the screen and that'll automatically put your, your forward view in auto as well. Um, th the problem with that is that it'll jump back and forth. So I always maintain a certain level of consistency and 30 foot depth is always gonna be, I search in 50 and then I will typically now I'm fishing in 30. So that's what you're gonna look at here, see? And Look at that, there's a little lay down right there. And um, the other thing is, and there's always that debate, right? There's that debate about whether or not the transducer should be on a pole or it should be on a on a on uh, your trolling motor shaft. Well, I'm a, I'm a believer in trolling motor shaft. and But I am only in, believe in that for certain circumstances. That is that you have an Ultrax, a Force, a kind of a newer trolling motor. The reason why is you can move left and right really quick with that. and. At the end of the day, folks, whether you put it on your trolling motor or on a individual pole, that's preference. But I can tell you this, that it's free to try it on your trolling motor first, try it out, and if you don't like it, it's very easy to switch over to a pole, and vice versa. You can go from a pole and then putting it on your trolling motor. At the end of the day, you do need to learn how to work your foot pedal, and it is all about boat control. So that's time on the water, and you can do it. All right. so. Let's keep going with the, with the settings here. Let's go back to menu, back, sonar. All right, here we go. Sonar set, appearance. 
color scheme i'm set up at amber i'm i'm a traditionalist that's where you know live scope started that's where i'm at still i don't mess around with anything but i know that a lot of people you know mess with that emerald black emerald that's a really popular one right now i see a lot of people with that guy but again i'm a tra traditionalist i like amber that's where i i stay with all right so the other thing i'm going to talk about is tvg and tvg is always going to be set at low for me and uh that works great for me noise reject is always going to be on high so the one thing that you can do when you get your unit is change your overlay data you can decide what you want on the screen basically you're deciding what's up here in this section right here and that's important because you want as much screen po as possible i don't want a bunch of stats down here that i don't really utilize so i'm with my volts i'm with my speed i'm with my temperature but that's it in my depth and uh, that's all i'm really concerned about so everything else i take away all right let's take a break from that real quick let me show you my lithium battery setup okay i have been preaching and preaching about lithium batteries i get them from amped outdoors i think they're great but there's a lot of companies out there hey it's whichever one you would you feel more most comfortable with they are expensive i get it i understand completely but i'll tell you what i don't worry about anymore it's voltage and um, currently my voltage starts around 16.5 and after about a six or seven hour guide trip it'll end up roughly around 13.9 now, originally, at the end of those guide trips, it would be roughly around 14.9, 15. So I have noticed that it has started to go down a bit, which is kind of concerning a little bit. But at the end of the day, if I'm at the end of a seven hour fishing experience and I'm at 13.9, that's still well above even my starting point of the AGMs that I had on the uh, live scope. So let me show you what I got. Let me show you my setup here. So this is my live scope battery right here and you can see how small that guy is folks going forward i will be lithium 100 percent. i also have lithium power in the trolling motor now and there was a video i put out i'll put a link right here above about that that works incredible as well um the boat that i'm going to be getting later in the year without a doubt will be 100 percent lithium i think that is the future for uh live scope electronics and trolling motor the whole nine yards i think lithium is going to be what the future is for uh for fishing and we're so dependent on those batteries it's just crazy and i know they're expensive there's no doubt there's no doubt they're expensive but uh what are you gonna do you know you need to you need to power it you don't have to worry about it that's one way not to worry about it so now other equipment i have on my boat with the live scope because it, it all works together right the mounts are all from cornfield crappie gear they're great give them a holler let me just show you my setup oh yeah we're gonna leave some of these for the guide service tomorrow we got a good group coming in tomorrow i believe they're from the chicago area and so we aren't going to touch these anymore this is a black nose if you haven't seen a black nose this is a little break from the, the settings episode oh my gosh this guy's super aggressive that's a black nose right there black nose beautiful fish that's a solid 12 incher heavy too i'm happy to hear you happy to see that they're getting heavy awesome we're gonna save that spot that's an awesome spot. okay i believe in the bridge i significantly believe in the bridge they actually have a wider bridge right here this is the i think this looks like about a three inch i think they do have a four or five inch as well so give it you additional stability i then use the folding mount and it's been fantastic it allows me to fold this out of the way when i'm running down the water now, do I actually fold it down when I'm running down the water? Nah, I don't. Um, I think it's great because it allows me to put the monitor underneath a boat cover. It allows me to stow it nice and secure. I feel better about it when it's not up in the air and exposed. Um, but for the guys that are really safety conscious and don't want it sitting up there in their face, I always take my seats out. That frees up what, I, what I'm seeing. But I can tell you that it's, I like the folding mount. And um, I like the idea that it's up high. So give Mark a call there at Cornfield Crappie Gear. They're awesome. I think they sell them at Grizzly Jig. Um, they sell them at a lot of places, but hands, I, I just, I like them. So a lot of people will ask me about the lithium batteries just to get back 
to that real quick. Um, does it make your picture clear? And I can't answer whether it does or doesn't, but I can tell you that it's always, the, it's the clearest picture I've ever seen on my monitor. So, you know, it's got full full battery power going to the unit. You would expect you're gonna get the best image that you are you could get. And so my answer to that is, it might not be better than, better than what you can get with a 12.4 volt, but I can tell you it's as good as it can give. And it's gonna give you that same good quality for six, seven, 10 12 hours and that to me is worth it's worth everything so not worrying about voltage and getting the best picture is everything to me so as i'm sure it is to you guys right so now one of the big reasons why i did go to the 8612 is that the 126 sv is not a gps maps unit so it does not offer the ability to record the video straight onto your phone i think there's another method of doing it straight to an sd card but that kind of frustrated me a little bit and get it going to the 8612 took that problem away and so now I can do active captain with my phone and and that to me as a guy that likes to video his catches and likes to share those experiences that's like that's everything so um, 8612 is great but to take it off the mount here it requires me to undo four screws whereas the 126 SV allows you just to take it off the cradle real simple so if you're interested in electronics check out PTG that's where I get all my stuff at um, it's who I talk to when I have a question. So PTG down there in Grenada, that family will hook you up with all that stuff. So, all right, Active Captain just started, and we're scrolling, and you can see those fish now out there at 45. We're going to try to catch some of those fish. I'm just trying to give you an idea of, of Active Captain, how valuable it is. I have it running on my phone, and all I'm doing now is scrolling closer to these fish here, and they look like they're just up on that ledge. Look at that, they're right there on that pile. We're gonna see if those guys are crappie here. Real quick, right there. Scroll down, there it is falling. And hopefully we have a taker. There he is. Look at that, that is right off the bat folks these are big fish we might have found the big fish man oh my gosh that's gonna end the settings video <laughs> live scope is fantastic settings you just saw me do it live as live it gets good night Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.